YouTube mad dog here so I just thought I'd quickly show you how I make my lanyards um, paracord lanyards um, I use them obviously in conjunction with my homemade ferro rods that I sell on eBay uh, and other equipment survival bushcraft equipment but this can be used modified pretty much for anything that you want to carry belt carry pocket carry even neck carry if you include a safety snap fitting which for this demo I'm not going to be showing so anything that you make like this if you tie it off manually don't wear around your neck that's just my opinion so <clears throat> basically what I've got here is I've got two lengths of paracord and these are 42 inches long each one um, I do 42 inches because I want to end up with 40 inches of cordage that's for my standard um, lanyard that I make so basically what I'm going to do is <clears throat> to start with just using a lighter where I've cut the ends just give them a, a singe and a, and a fold you know to just to bind the fibers together to stop them coming undone again same on both pieces just wetting my fingers just so it don't burn and stick and burn I know I overdo it, you can get away with literally just singeing them. So basically then, on one piece of paracord, we're going to put the two ends together, draw it through and find approximately the centre, like so. So that should be the centre, should have two even ends there. So that's going to form our keyhole loop to start with, so just hang on to that for now. And then the same again on the second piece of paracord, we're just roughly going to find the center, like so. And then we're going to make a simple overhand knot just by pinching it through, passing it through, like you know, a standard knot. But before you actually cinch that knot down, <clears throat> I'm going to pass the original loop from the first piece of paracord through, if that makes sense, like so. And then just Pull it tight together like that. Now what I've done before I move on is <clears throat> a piece of scrap wood and into which I've screwed a couple of screws approximately a foot apart. It doesn't have to be exact and this is just, you don't have to do this but this little rig just makes it easy for me so I'm not dexterous, I'm not good at this sort of thing so the loop that we've just made I'm going to hang over the first screw and either side of the knot I'm going to leave them flying and the original piece just let it hang down central so <clears throat> right on the knot you'll see that one side has the prominent loop the other side has the across we're starting to make our first loop for the cobra weave on the prominent side of the knot <clears throat> I'll just do this and then I'll demonstrate. So we we'll make a loop over like so and then the other piece of paracord just got it all trapped. <clears throat> so to start with we we'll go over, under and through and cinch it down. So I'll try and do this freehand just so that you can see what I'm doing here. So where the knot that I've just done, um, the paracord is, is linear, up and down vertically, that's where we make our first loop. So the, this free piece of paracord goes over the two centre strands. So we're pinching that together over the two centre strands. <clears throat> the second piece of paracord we want to go behind the flying end, behind everything and through that loop and then cinch it all down if that makes sense and as you can see we're starting to get the weave now so 
where the linear line is again that's the side we're now going to make another loop so a loop over the two down pieces the second piece we're going to go over the flying end but behind everything else and through pull it through cinch it down so again <coughs> I'm showing it over and over because if you've never done this before it can be you know a bit well get my head around this but it is very simple and once you've got the hang of it you can do it quite quickly so I'll show you once more so we make a loop over the two center pieces behind the flying end and through the initial loop and cinch it down like so. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the video now, so I'm already five minutes into it. Finish this and um, I'll show you how we finish it off. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Okay, so I'm just finishing off the Cobra Weave. Just simply throwing it together now so it's over, under them all and through. As I've demonstrated in the first part of this video, over, under and through. Until you've got not much left to work with basically well, I've just missed that one with the rushing so over under and through like so now the last the last loop that you're going to make I would suggest you cinch it down quite firmly give it a good old pull not too excessive because don't forget in an emergency you do want to be able to undo this quite easily so what I'm going to do now is take my old knife and I'm going to cut those flying leads down leaving about three or four mil maybe five you know to push just just floating so let's cut one cut two discard those and now take the cigarette lighter and again just cinch the ends wet your thumb and push them flat like so, both sides, melt it, push it flat, that stops it from coming undone by itself, <clears throat> but if you need to pull it through, you know if you jar that little joint it will come free very easily. So now as you can see we've got a keychain lanyard hole that you can put a carabiner through, attach it to a belt, whatever your needs are. You got 40 inches of paracord in the cobra weave which you can make a bow drill a fire set out of in the piece that is left once you've unwound it isn't further for 40 inches so two bow drill kits <coughs> excuse me or two boot laces or whatever your needs may be so obviously now the flying end you can use whatever you want now so whatever you're going to attach basically whether it be a knife you can you can hang a knife on there and just simply tie the two pieces together hold them together twist and form a single overhand knot I'm not going to cinch it dead tight because I'm going to use this for one of my ferro rods and you're ready to go you've just made a nice lanyard like I say you can carry it on a belt on a loop keychain carabiner or whatever or even if you wanted to replace that knot with a snap safety joint then you could wear it around your neck I don't recommend doing that with an overhand knot because if you choke yourself you're going to die before this stuff snaps you know that's why it's called 550 paracord it has a 550 pounds breaking strain so your head's going to come off before it snaps basically so I thought to quickly demonstrate how I make my lanyards now Please don't ridicule me too much. I'm not skilled or very good at this. So, especially Knife Monkey, if you're watching, mate. <laughs> I know you're probably laughing and crying in your beer watching this. But, uh, you know, this is uh, just a basic rough-assed attempt. And this is simple but functional. That's why I choose to do this method. You carry a lot of paracord for minimal effort, minimal skill. And it, uh, it works, basically. So, anyways... <clears throat> As always, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you're all having a great weekend. Coming up to Christmas now, so take extra care out there because the roads and the traffic is crazy. And uh, stay safe. 
I'll see you all soon. Mad Dog signing off. Yeah.